right, here we go now. Sorry, I'm breathing a little heavy. The dogs needed an outing. So here we go. Okay, so then we have get my charm in there. This uh, is a, a nice belly band. And then this opens up. And you have a little tuck spot here. Good place for pictures. And you've got another nice photo mat. This is a, a, a card, which I thought went really well with the, with the uh, flowers around here. Some nice lace, some crochet trim over here. And then that closes back up and it opens up and this is just a nice place for a photo and I've got some uh, lace coming out of this little piece here. It is all sealed down so just a nice place for a photo. Um, here's another piece of that lace with a little cabochon. Again another nice photo mat and card. Lots of fussy cutting in this al album slash journal. And then this is a nice pocket and the little lace here is kind of a placeholder. So you've got another nice photo mat. You can get a lot more in this. It's actually a tuck spot. It's just down at the bottom. So you can get some, uh, you can get some more things in, in there as well. Uh, another nice little tuck spot area. Pretty little button goes along with everything. Um, and then uh, this is part of in the next part of the journal piece. You've got just some nice papers here. Paper clip, you can clip up something on that side. And then I've got just a little square of paper stuck in there. Another little tag, another little tag. Some really good journaling space. Really good journaling space. This is a little flip up and then a little tuck spot area. And this can flip down under the tuck spot area. Nice little side pocket. Just some decorative strips. And then we're back to the... And it's just a accordion pocket. So you can fit lots and lots of stuff in there. Lots of stuff. I got my whole hand, uh, all my fingers in there. It's, it widens out quite a bit. And uh, then this is a little photo mat. And then you can put pictures here or a journal. Got a, you would think a waterfall, but there are three flaps. So kind of a waterfall. And then a nice place here for a big big picture. I didn't tell you how big this book is. I will do that before we're done. Here's a nice big tag with a tea pocket. A photo mat. Well, you can, I guess they're tagged too, but um, they're primarily for photo photo uh, placement. <clears throat> um, so this is just a tension pocket. Just like that. And then nice little side pocket there. There is some music, a music sheet. And this is a pocket here and a pocket here. And this is an envelope just flapped over the pocket. Some nice journaling space here. Uh, this is a tuck spot and then a paper clip holding a few little tidbits. Um, this is for photos and you can slide the photos up underneath because this is not glued down. Some stamping throughout. Here is a belly band and made over with some of my leftover pieces. And then this flips up and you've got a nice place for a tag picture and then the tag holds the flap down. Okay, and then we're back to the, we've got a, it's a flap and this comes out. So you nice photos and journaling, another one of those 
uh, a different card that I have. I love, and I backed it on um, so you can write on it instead of having a, a, a card. And then uh, nice place for photos here. Wonderful journal journaling space there. Here is a tuck spot made out of an envelope, and I put some music paper in the inside of it so it's decorated decorated it's decorative <laughs> uh, again more fussy cutting for a nice tuck spot another one of those cards and some nice tags and or photo mats there we go get these kind of placed and then this flips up and we have a installed paper clip that will hold the tag, but yet again, lots of room for photos. Nice journaling spot. And then here is a, another tag and a nice pocket with some lace on it. And I did, did do the, uh, throughout the um, edge, edge punching. I just loved, I love this piece of paper. Um, actually, I think, I don't remember. I don't think this is on the same piece. Maybe it is. Um, and, and I just didn't want to do too much to cover it up. Oh, I have a little strip, a little extra strip here. <laughs> but, uh, so I used some of my odds and ends and decorated that side. And then just some lace and some uh, ribbon. To decorate that side so you can get some nice photo uh, pieces on uh, in this as well I believe I used the same sheet I believe it's all the same sheet of paper just used it all up uh, okay and then again another really nice place for photos then we're back to another journal area See, I love that paper. <laughs> I must have had a lot of it, too. Uh, and this, you can, probably can't see it, but it's a shimmer paper. You can write on it very nicely, but it is a shimmer paper, so it really adds a little extra oomph. Some stamping. Um, now, this is Blue Fern Studios. This is the barcode uh, piece, but they're so pretty. They do such a wonderful job of giving us that little extra tidbit. And uh, that's a die cut. And again, another one of um, these pieces. Uh, I think this is Blue Fern as well. It might be 49 Market. Uh, not sure. Now this one is a flap out. And then I have a pocket here. And this is an envelope. And it's being held down by a paper clip. So you've got the clip. You can do lots of little things there. Little key there. And then we're on to our last page. We've got another triple pocket. So lots of goodies. Isn't that just pretty? I, I didn't find any place I really wanted to put it. So I thought, you know, somebody will find a spot that they really think that's going to go well and they're going to put it down. It'll be perfect for them. So, and uh, then just, you know, just some cards and another one of those great big photo mats. Photo mat slash tag, whichever you, whatever you want to do with it. And then again, another great place for pictures. And of course, what would a photo album be without a waterfall? And I just did the greens and blues. And then a nice place back here for one. All right, guys. So that is it. Um, I hope to get it on my Facebook uh, for sale the same day that I put this up. But I hope you like it. I hope you join me for the Finish Up Fridays. Um, it probably won't be every Friday, but I will try and do at least one a month, if not more. Because I really do need to get other things done. But I am so tickled that this is finished. And if you're interested, um, just email me. The email will be in the description box and we'll figure out how you can get it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Love you all. Give me a thumbs up if you like this.
Talk to you later. Bye.